Now, we're going to look at the Pythagorean inequalities theorem. And we use this theorem whenever we see problems that ask us these kinds of things. Tell if the side lengths can make a triangle. If so, classify the triangle as acute, obtuse, or right. So I'm given three potential side lengths, and I have to determine whether they can make a triangle. And if they can, is that a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle? So first off, can these make a triangle? Well, very simply, what I need to make sure is, can any two sides of this triangle add up and be greater than the third side? Because that's what's necessary for it to be a triangle. So I find the two smallest sides, 8 and 11, and I add them together, and I find that 8 plus 11, I need to figure out, is it greater than or less than or equal to 13? I find 8 plus 11 is 19. That's 19, which is greater than 13 so yes, it is a triangle. Yes, it is a triangle. So now I need to classify it as acute, obtuse, or right. In order to do that, here comes the Pythagorean inequalities theorem, which tells me that if I square each of the side lengths, I'll be able to tell something about the triangle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say 8 squared plus 11 squared, and I'm going to leave a blank here, and then put 13 squared, because the Pythagorean theorem says that if it's a right triangle, it's going to be 8 squared plus 11 squared equals 13 squared. But let's figure out if that's the case. 8 squared is 64, and I'm going to treat this and solve it as if it's an equation. 64 plus 121 is, and I'm still waiting to figure out, 13 squared is 169. Add 64 plus 121 and I get 185, which winds up to be greater than 169. Now, if the two sides adds up, add up and are greater than 169, what we're going to look at is we're going to see this is going to be an acute triangle. Now, over here on the right, tell if the side lengths can make a triangle. 5, 9, and 16. Well, the two smallest sides are 5 and 9. Uh-oh, let's see. 5 plus 9 is actually less than 16. 5 plus 9 is 14, which is less than 16, so no triangle. And that is an example of how we use the Pythagorean inequalities theorem to determine things about triangles. Just so you know, I'm going to give you guys a little, little bit of help here. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then I know that's going to give me a right triangle, right? That is my Pythagorean theorem. If a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, that means I'm looking at, as I saw here, I'm looking at an acute triangle. And if a squared plus b squared, the third option, is less than c squared, then I'm looking at an obtuse triangle. And this makes sense because if I'm looking at a triangle, I know a right triangle is where a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. If a squared plus b squared winds up being greater than, meaning the c squared is going to be less than, you get this line right here, that's going to be an acute triangle on the interior here. If c squared over here is greater than a squared plus b squared, meaning c is longer, meaning c extends up here, we're going to be looking at an obtuse angle, making it an obtuse triangle. So that is our Pythagorean inequalities theorem. For more practice with the Pythagorean Inequalities Theorem, turn in your Holt Geometry textbook to page 352 and work on problems 9 through 14.